Okay, my YouTubers. I'm going to do a video because I don't believe there is one that exists on this. I've not found one at least. This is on the Honda back pannier uh, case. And this would be installed on the far back of an Africa twin. And uh, it really is meant, I guess, for carrying your helmet. And when you buy this case, which by the way is at Partzilla, is about the best price I have found on this case for under $100. It only comes with a case. So to secure this to the back of your Africa Twin, you're going to need to buy the inner lock. And I thought I'd show you that because this is quite a process what you're gonna need in addition to the box is this item here, this OAL73 MJP G50, which is basically this lock assembly. Then you will also need this item, a cylinder inner, it's called set, there's your part number and you'll need a key kit key body part and there's your number and i'll show you that in just a minute but you're going to need to additionally buy these three items and what you're going to do is you're going to basically then have to assemble the lock assembly so let's look at that let me spin this up a little bit so you're going to start out first by creating a cylinder that matches your ignition key. And there's a separate video on that process. So I'm not gonna go over that now, but you are literally buying the cylinder and all the pieces that will make that cylinder so that you can code it or key it to the same key you use for your ignition. Now I have done that also on the side panniers that's uh, in a separate video. So I have finished keying that. Well, that cylinder, once keyed, it's got to be inset into a body. And so you're gonna buy this body part here. And you can see it's got a few scratches on it here because that cylinder and that body part has to be inserted into this locking mechanism. And uh, there's instructions specifically on how that has to be inserted. Okay, so once you have created the cylinder to match your ignition key, then you'll insert it into the locking mechanism here uh, by basically taking the body part and it'll only fit one way into this locking mechanism and once you've done that then you're going to actually assemble the locking mechanism to your case and that's fairly simple that's over here you're just basically screwing it from the inside you can see the four screws to basically attach that in the inner case and once you've done that then basically you're done. The way this that works is this has a latch here and you can see the latch and that latch grabs this inner section here. There's a lip in here and that locks it down. And so when you close your case and you lock that latch, then what you can do is you can lock this that does two purposes, serves two purposes. When you're locking with your key, and I only have one hand here, so it's hard to show you. This, this lock versus unlock here does two things. Not only does it unlock the case, it also makes it available so that you can lock or unlock this. So see, when I move this up, then this locking mechanism is what locks it to that bracket on the back of your bike and so when that's closed and locked 
then you can lock it onto your bike and lock the case and, and vice versa. So we're opposite of that. So anyway, it's, uh, it is a lengthy process. I mean, after you've done it, it makes sense, but uh, you do have to follow the instructions. They're not always the best. So let me set this up again. And forgive my camera shots. Just made this real quick for you. Let's just take turn and spin it around. And it is the original Honda. It's made for an Africa Twin. I'm using it on the ESDCT, a 2021, and uh, Adventure Sport. So, a really nice setup. I have the complete matching set. So, hopefully this is helpful to somebody if you decide to buy this to install it on your Africa Twin. Okay, thanks for watching.